pop a fan, it's your boy Unk No Punk, Unk No Punk, and the belly of the beast. Look at shit behind me, huh? The belly of the beast. Anyway, fan, this show is gonna be about um, this dude named Kevin Samuels. You know, Kevin Samuels, I made a video about him this last week. I criticized him. I saw one video of him, right? And I saw him, he, he said about, tell the girl you fat. Also, maybe 15 seconds of it, and I cut it off, right? And I, and I made a video about this dude. Uh, it says about his, his wife called him a deadbeat dad, so I, I automatically thought this dude's a sucker. Right, so I made my video. Maybe I made it too, made too fast, you know what I'm saying, fam? If I did, put like this in. Pardon me, Mr. Kevin Samuels, for going, for jumping the gun on you on this video. Because I watched the video from him last night. So let me check the brother out there and see what more about him, right? And dude was talking some good stuff last night. I was like, damn, you jumped the gun on dude there. He had this female in there, 24-year-old girl. He labels them as like modern, modern-day women, and I guess traditional women, I guess, right? And this modern day girl, 24 years old, sister, talking about if she has education and money, why do she need a man? And I was like, wow. So this is what the dude was really getting on, right? I was saying, I didn't analyze it too much till last night. And what he was saying was damn sure correct, but it's this woman here. You know, they make a little money and feel that we don't need no man. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no baby. They just want to have fun, have sex, go out and do what they want to do. That's these modern day women. They don't have children, you know what I'm saying, modern day women now, you know I'm saying, like the traditional ones. So I'm saying for me, I think a best woman to get would be a traditional woman instead of a modern one, you know what I'm saying? Because all it was about the money and that for traditional family things, you know, it's like, if you're a new kid, new kid, you, you don't know about traditional things there. You don't have a grandma who cook on Sundays, the women cook on Sundays, and you no know, traditional things that we have. These modern day women, they don't do that. They can't cook, they can't cook, do a goddamn thing. I know, I done been through it. And by listening to Homeboy last night, I was like, man, I done been through this shit, you know, a few times, you know, with this goddamn woman who can't cook a goddamn meal, but expect you to be, you know, on point, 100% on, t on them, you know, treat them well, treat them like a queen, when they're not really um, worthy of it. That's no, it's worthy of you. You act like they all work because they're black women, their sister. So you're trying to treat them no, no good with some kind of respect. But a lot of them do not deserve it. A lot of them don't deserve you. Call the queen, we'll be labeled the queen because they don't do a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? They don't do a thing. They can't cook, can't do a goddamn thing. You know? I met too many times. Like I said, once he said that, I was like, damn, these modern day women, you forget them. <laughs> but get you a traditional woman, fam. I'm saying the best thing I would say, to the fam, go to Africa, go get you um, a traditional woman. You know, say out the villages or something like that. There, who's unscathed, who's untouched, all this goddamn modern day society shit, um, all this the IG, Facebooks, all that shit like that. If you can find your woman like that, you better keep my ass. I'm telling you, fam, because this motherfucker out here contaminated, contaminated. The head assistant said that, and she really meant it too. If I'm educated and I, I make enough money, why do I need a man? That same that man can say, if I make fucking $60,000 a year, why do I need a woman? Man and woman need each other. No matter what, it's not about money. You no, know? it's about money, money, money. You got a woman talking about money, then she's not worthy of being a, be married or, or even have kids. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't bust no nothing, these motherfuckers. I'm telling you, don't bust nothing. Them. The only one is about money. So it, the green, 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 but it can't do a goddamn thing. Like I take this, fam, you got your woman there. She supposed to be your dead wife. She can't cook. She's not doing her wifely duties. She was running around with her fucking mouth always got them. Then you, I say you need to leave the ass. But, like this. but my mentality is, if you're my woman, cool, we, we're going to ride out. We start getting disrespectful then, then fuck you then. Then I'm going to do what I want to do. It's not about saying, okay, you are playing around, you cheating on them. It's not about that cheating shit. If you are not up to par, taking care of me the way I, I need to be done, then your shit is done. I don't care if you're married, you got a ring and finger or not. I'm going to get somebody else that's going to take care of me. It's me vice versa too, you know what I'm saying? Damn sure. But like I say, fam, this dude, Kevin Sanders, he, he's on point with, with his stuff there, you know? I said, I jumped the gun. Yes, Uncle Punk jumped the gun. He do that sometimes. I do a lot of times. But some man to come back and say, no, pardon me, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm riding with you now. I'm on the, the Kevin Sanders train now with this guy, Jen Sisters. Talking some shit. If I have an education or if I have a job, I don't need no man. What about the family, huh? What about the black family? How are we gonna become a, a powerful black nation if our sisters are, are thinking this way? It's impossible. It's possible we will stay goddamn weak. But like I said, it's up to the man though. Don't mess these goddamn, um, like I said, these modern day women. Let these modern day women leave alone. Cause all I'm gonna do is come to lesbianism, you know? <laughs> That's gonna be black feminists. Black, black lives man, and come with all the other goddamn stupid bullshit. Get you a judicial woman's gonna take you home. She's gonna work for her husband and her kids. That's what you need. Not the other one there worrying about some other goddamn shit. Because home is where it starts at. You can take you home, everything will be good. 
You treat your kids to be respectful and things like that, things will be good. But if you got a woman out there who ain't worrying about things like that, just worry about money, those ones, they're poison. They are poison. Because if they do get pregnant, they don't want you, they don't love you. So all you're going to do is want a paycheck out of your ass and some child support or make your life goddamn miserable, same fam. Be careful who you bust a nut in, family. You understand me? Be careful who you bust that nut in, because that, 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 that one nut be 18 is a goddamn misery, fam. You know what I'm trying to say? Be fucking misery with some dumbass woman, you know? You don't need no dumb woman. I mean, I say dumb, I mean education or not educated. I mean, it's a dumb woman inside, just, just a goddamn meathead, don't know a goddamn thing. You don't need that, fam. Get some good, a good woman, a good woman that's gonna take care of you. If your woman's not taking care of you 100%, DX ass, get another one. That's the way it is, goddamn. Well, don't don't live in misery with some goddamn woman. And a woman too, don't live in misery with some goddamn man. If like them, separate. Separate. You know what I'm saying? Don't live in misery with each other for five, ten years, like, oh, this is not good, I'm not happy, and shit like that. You deserve to be happy. Anybody deserves to be happy, fam. Everybody. Like I said, you got your woman, maybe it's not working out. Cool, it's not working out. You still have love for that person, but like I say for if you love them, you gotta let them go sometime. And find somebody that's gonna, you know. Be 100% for you, compatible for you. And she might find somebody that's compatible with her and live your life. And, you know, things are good there, fam. But stay away from these goddamn modern day women, fam. <laughs> Definitely, because they got their poison. They tell you right there, if I got some money, I don't need you. So, therefore, hey, maybe you should be selfish too sometimes, yeah? Be selfish. Look at the grit back here, fam. This is the gutter, you know what I'm saying? We in the gutter doing things like that, yeah. We out here. I'm outside, I'm outside. I'm in the dungeons too, and I'm my fam. Peace.